Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing the lead code 195 problem named 10th line. This problem says that we will be given a file named file.txt and it will have certain number of lines. And inside that file we just have to print the 10th line of that file. So for example if a file looks like this we would have to just print line 10. So we will be solving this problem using bash and let's get started over it. So uh, first and foremost uh, we will be creating a while loop for this and for that while loop we will use a variable named count0. This essentially tells you the number of lines number of lines we are at inside a file. So we will initiate our while loop and we will read the lines inside that file and we will read the lines from file dot txt right uh, now inside that while loop we will first and we will first um, increment our count variable so using let we can perform arithmetic operations on our bash variables so what this essentially do is whenever we are reading line by line inside that file we will increment our count variable so when we are at line 1 we will increment our count from count, uh, from 0 to 1 when we are at line 2 we will increment our count from 1 to 2 and so on then we will check if we are at our count value 10 uh, we will address our variables using dollar sign so this refers to this variable and we will check whether is it equal to line 10 if whether is it equal to value 10 if it is equal to value 10 then we will just print the line and exit from the process so let's see if it works And it does I think it's very efficient um, let's also look at some different solutions for this so this was like solution one solution one using while loop let's also look at uh, different other solutions so this is a solution two and here we will use uh, awk processing text processing tool so it's a text processing tool and we will use this um, so awk allows us and it gives us various utilities which you can use to to basically process your text inside some files so um, use if you if you use awk then you initialize the statement using awk itself then inside the double quotes you provide some kind of conditions so here we will say that our file number of records equal to equal to 10 and this basically says that um, while reading lines from a file while reading lines from this file when we reach the line number 10 when our record number is 10 record it basically indicates line when your record number is 10 then just print that file so this is a condition and this is an action and all this gets performed on this file so let's see if it run, uh, if it works and it does it's also pretty efficient so just one thing to note here again is that this is a condition this is an action action says print that means whenever this condition is met we will run this action on this file and it stands for file number of records and record basically indicates lines that means your line number is 10 then you have to print this let's also check another solution and this time we will use said this is a streamline editor this is a stream editor basically and with with the help of this we will use set like since awk uh, also has some predefined syntax that it accepts you uh, expects you to use we will similarly use something with set as well so set allows you to manipulate and 
transform your text and here we will use uh, minus n 10 p and give it file name so what this basically means is uh, it reads line by line from this file and when the count reaches 10 print it n is just for suppressing your uh, logs on the bash so if we run this and see if it works and it doesn't let's see what's wrong with this okay we have to comment this out as well because it will it was reading that too and let's see if this works now and it does and it's also pretty efficient so uh, again one more thing to recap our what said is that thread is a stream editor and it also allows you to manipulate your text inside a file and it reads the file line by line and it allows us it also allows you to give some options to it like suppress the logs to bash and it uh, then asks you to what to do with the lines inside that file and then you can specify that whenever you reach the count 10 you just need to p p it p that is print, printed so that was all for today um hope you liked the video thank you so much and bye, -bye.